friends, it's Shari. Today I'm creating these two really fun punny die cut cards. I had this idea when I made my projects with the stitch pumpkins and the stitch gourds and now I'm finally making them come to fruition. I'm starting out with my first card with a bunch of corn cut with the stitched gourds die set. I've cut all my pieces for both of these cards from colors from the textured canvas cardstock packs. So of course that yellow is from the yellow pack and then the green is from the green pack and I just like the little texture that this cardstock adds to these die cuts. Now I have five pieces of corn here and I'm layering them looking at the back side and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make sure they're all exactly the same height so I can tell how much of the green I'm showing and I can kind of look at the little stitch lines as a guide to make sure that I have my corn the yellow part in the same spot on each one of these pieces of corn. And I'm also using my grid mat to kind of look to make sure like if the bottom is lined up with that grid line that the tops all kind of fall in line with each other. And this is because I'm going to line them up along the bottom of the card and I just want them to be nice and uniform. So now that I have them all glued down and they all look nice and uniform, I am going to just flip them over here so they look correct. So now I'm going to move on to my card base. I'm going to use the So Appealing Fruit Salad 12 by 12 paper. I like this kind of neutral gingham or grid on the back. And I'll be cutting this with the largest of the outside end stitch rectangles. And what I like to do is make sure that my plaid is even in my rectangle. And I can do that by looking at the lines so that these two match and then the sides match as well. And I'll just hold this in place with some removable tape and run it through my die cut machine. And I just wanted to note that I will do the same for the other card base as well. So they will both be exactly the same. Now I thought it would be fun to put it on this craft colored cardstock base, but the contrast between my plaid and my craft wasn't as much as I wanted. So I'm just going to darken it up a little bit with some dough ink. You could also use a darker cardstock, but I did feel like the paper bag cardstock was a little too orangey and I wanted to keep this kind of really tan tone. And the dough ink works perfect. And all I have to do is go around the edges because you're only going to see a little bit of that peeking out from behind the pattern paper. So here is all my textured canvas cardstock. I'm using a dark yellow from the yellow pack and I'm going to cut it with that same outside and stitch rectangle so I have a nice stitching detail. And I'll be trimming this down to kind of be the ground that my corn is sort of grounded or sitting upon. So this is a lot taller than I need it to be and I just wanted to put my corn here and kind of see maybe about three quarters of an inch is about where I want to cut it. So I'll just trim that with my paper trimmer. I'll keep that little excess piece because it's good for die cutting small things. And then I'll have this little dark yellow ground to put everything on. Now before I glue this down, I wanted to add some corn stalks stamped to the background. So I just used a pencil and drew a very light line for the top of where that card stock will fall. Then I'm pulling out this well-loved corn stalk from the Happy Harvest stamp set. You can tell that I've used this a lot. And then I'm using some fossilized amber distress oxide ink because this is a pigment ink so it's going to sit on top of that pattern paper nicely. And I'm just stamping four of these kind of evenly spaced across the background. Then I can add my piece of dark yellow to the bottom and it kind of looks like a field of corn. Now before I add my corn pieces, I want to work on my sentiment. So I'm making some punny sentiments using some Henry's Juniors ABCs, and I thought that it would be really funny to say, aw shucks, sorry I forgot, which would be a really great belated birthday card and goes great with the row of corn. So I just started with the S because that's the center of the sentiment, picked it up with the door of my Misty, and now I can line up all my other letters. And once I have them lined up, I'm just gonna test stamp that. So I'm just testing that on a piece 
of scrap cardstock, making sure the spacing looks good. And that looks great to me, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. And I'm using some soot ink to stamp. So this is just a dark brownish gray. So a little bit different than black, but I think it goes really well with that background. And of course, I only have one W, so I'm gonna just put that on a block and stamp that second W down. Now to finish off the rest of the sentiment, I have the Offset Sayings birthday set and there is a stamp in here that says, sorry I forgot, which I think goes with the aw shucks perfectly. So this could be a belated birthday card or just aw shucks I forgot anything. You could send it to anyone depending on what you wanted to write on the inside. Now I'm adding this whole panel with some foam tape to my card base so it's popped up a little bit and has some dimension. And then now I'm going to revisit my corn again and I decided to add a little bit of ink blending to each one of these just to make them not look quite so flat. So I'm adding some fossilized amber distress ink to just the tips of all the corn cobs. And then I will go through and do the same with the shucks at the bottom. And I'm using mode lawn for this. And I'm just barely touching the bottom. But you can see how that kind of defines them and gives them some shading and makes them pop a little bit more. So once I have all of these inked up, I can start to add them to my card. And I'm using some thin foam squares. And I'm going to start with the one in the center. And then I'm doing the ones on the far left and the far right next using those same thin foam squares. I was going to just work my way out from the center, but I decided to get the spacing the way I wanted it to be. I needed to define the outside constraints of this line of corn first. Because I wanted those ones on the outside edges to just touch the outside edge of that plaid panel. Now I already have some adhesive on this one because I put that one down and then pulled it back off. So I'm just tucking it in behind the two that have some foam. And you'll see I'm adding some of that adhesive runner to this one as well and I'll do the same thing. And now I have this really cute line of corn and I just think it is really fun. And I did want to add some sparkle to this to catch your eye. It's always fun when you have that little bit of sparkle to catch the light. So I just added some to the tops of the cobs and a little bit to the shucks. And I'm just going to set this aside now and work on my second card. So for this one, I'm using the gourds in the stitched gourds along with some of those stitched pumpkins. And again, I cut all of these from various colors from the textured canvas cardstock packs. I already have my background panel cut just like I did before and a ground cut just like I did before as well but I'm using green this time. I do have these two gourds that have two pieces that I need to layer together. So for that yellow one, I just use a darker yellow for the background piece, so I have darker spots. And then for this teal one, I did it opposite with lighter spots. I also have a whole bunch of stems cut because I wasn't sure what I wanted to use. So I just cut some from light green and a dark green and I'll just start to add those to my gourds and my pumpkins. I really like this curly one here. I just think that one's so much fun. And I realized as I did this that I needed um, some dark small ones. So you'll see me add those here in just a minute. I had a light one on that yellow one and I pulled it off and then I'm going to use the dark, more simple one for these two gourds. I didn't need to do a dark green one to go with the green gourd so that it didn't match and I had some contrast. I am going to add some ink blending to the bottoms of these as well just for some shading just like I did with the corn. So I've got Molon for that green one, some fossilized amber for this yellow one. For my teal one I'm using some Uncharted Mariner which is a really nice dark tealish blue. And then for the two pumpkins, I'm doing them both with some rusty hinge. So on that darker pumpkin, it's not going to be quite as obvious, but there is a little bit of shading there. 
Now I can add my dark green piece that I cut with the outside and stitch rectangle and then trim down to be a ground. And just as I did on the corn card, I'm going to stamp my sentiment before I put my gourds down. So for this one, I put the sentiment, oh my gourd, it's your birthday. So using the same Henry Jr.'s ABCs for the first part of my sentiment and then the offset sayings birthday for the second part. And I'm stamping this one with a block using that same soot ink. And I apologize that you have to see my head here, but it's because I wanted to make sure it was nice and lined up. And if you cut that plaid paper straight, you have nice guidelines to make sure that your sentiment stamps straight too, which is really awesome. I'm adding foam tape to the back of this, just like I did on the first card. And I did add that dough ink to that craft card base, just like I did on the first card as well, so that they match and they look kind of like a set. So sticking with the same sort of method for gluing down my corn, I am gluing down my pumpkins. I'm starting on the outside edges first. And for these, I'm just using my tape runner so they'll be glued directly to that background piece. And then I'm also going to stick the yellow one directly to the background. So for the green gourd and that little pumpkin, I'll pop those up with that foam adhesive just like I did with the corn cobs. And I think it's really fun that you can kind of lay the gourds on their sides to give it a different look. And I just love this cute tiny little pumpkin. I think it is so cute. And of course, to match the corn cobs, I'm adding some glitter to my gourds as well and the stems of them. So we have some shimmer on both cards. Now, I really liked how both these cards looked. This was my initial idea to kind of have a graphic card with a punny sentiment, and I think they're really fun. But I also felt like maybe we should add some critters to these to make them a little more lawn fawny. So you could do this just as it is if you had someone who wasn't into critters, but I'm going to add some critters so we have a bit of a different look. So I'm using the crows from Happy Harvest and then some of the little mice from New Autumn Know. I've stamped these on some white cardstock with some Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink so I can do my Copic coloring. And I'm just going to color all of my mice exactly the same using just a darker shade and a lighter shade. I sometimes like to vary the shades of gray when I have a bunch of mice on a card, but for this one, I'm wanting to keep these cards fairly simple and just add some simple shading. And I do think that you could pick any mice from lots of different sets. I just picked this set because I like this little mouse with his hands up in the air for one thing. And then I thought that the other two mice that I picked worked really well sitting on the pumpkins like you're going to see me do. But there are lots of mice to choose from. The ones in their little overalls that are picking apples, those would be super cute as well. I'm also adding some R11. This is what I like to use for the insides of ears and some little pink cheeks. And then that E000 for their bellies. Now for my crows, I'm just going to color some orange beaks. And then I like to color a black animal or critter using dark grays so that you don't lose the lines of the stamp completely. They are kind of disappearing a little bit, but they're not completely gone and you can still see the details in each of these little images. Once I have all of these colored, I will use the coordinating dies and cut all of them out. And then now I can add them to my card. So the crows are gonna go over here on the corn card. I have this little flying crow and then this one's just gonna stand on the tippy top of that corn cob. And then my little mice, I thought this one is super cute just kind of hanging out on the top of this really tall gourd like he climbed up there. <laughs> and then this one looks like he is having too much fun and he's going to slide off of this big pumpkin. 
And then, of course, the little yay mouse. He looks perfect just sitting on the arch of that gourd. Like, he's just really happy to be there. And then here are the two finished cards. I just think that they are so much fun with those punny sentiments. I like that you can take an ABC set and kind of customize your sentiments. And I just think that these are really fun fall cards to give to someone. And then here is a look at those final cards. I love those brightly colored die cuts and those custom punny sentiments. I hope this has inspired you to create something fun as well. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.